Hello, you're watching Ellie from Elementary Paper Crafting. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the UK. And today I'm going to be playing with Merriest Moments, which is a stamp set that's available in our um, autumn winter catalogue, the mini catalogue. So, so I'll just bring in all my bits and pieces. OK, so I'm going to be using actually the majority of the stamps from the set and probably um, about half the dies. So I'm going to start off by just randomly stamping the edges of a square card. And this card measures five and three quarter inches square. So I'm just using the um, little stamp that's kind of like little stars here. So I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler and Shaded, shaded Spruce. Now the only two colours I'm going to use for this card, um, apart from the, the base, which is very vanilla. And this is the thick, very vanilla. And just looking for my stamp and scrub. Okay, so I'm going to take the Cherry Cobbler just make sure this is stamping nicely and I'm not going to do an awful lot just that I think is enough for just down one edge and I want to let's just take that and just a little bit there clean it off my stamp cleaner and come in with the um oh what's this called i forgot what this is called now spruce green i don't know and just do the edge there so that's all i need to do with with that stamp and then I'm going to bring in the um, piece of, or several pieces of Very Vanilla. So on this one piece, I'm going to stamp my greeting. And I've chosen, together is the merriest place to be. So I'm just going to stamp that in the center just takes a, a few seconds for the ink to transfer to the card you don't actually need to press down really hard and that's lovely and then also with the red i'm going to stamp with the two poinsettias the larger and the smaller and just using scraps of very vanilla cardstock. I've shown you before, I always keep all my scraps in a plastic folder along with the full, full sheets of A4. So I absolutely adore Cherry Cobbler and I think it's a lovely colour for Christmas cards. These are some holly berries. So while I've got this piece of card out, I'm just going to do those. I'm not going to need this many, but since I've got the stamp and the card, I might as well cut a few. So let's pop that there. And then I'm going to stamp um, a collection of the leaves. So there are some sort of fir tree boughs and some holly leaves. And I'm not sure what leaves these are, but they're... Christmassy and they'll go beautifully on our card. What is this card? What is this called? Shaded Spruce. Oh, I don't know why I couldn't remember what that was called. Um, oh, I've gone and arranged these on a on a one block because I used all my smaller ones. I think I should have used this. So if I pop these in a line. Right, well, I don't know what happened to the other leaf, but I've only got two here now, so we're just going to have to do without that one. How strange. So let's 
So we'll take the shaded spruce and make sure the whole stamp's covered. That's lovely. And I'm going to have to pop these. Let's just do that one separately. probably going to end up with green ink all over my fingers now because I've taken that off before I cleaned it. Okay. Right. So that's um, that stamping all done. And now I'm going to bring in um, this beautiful embossing folder which comes with this set and this is called the hybrid embossing folder it's absolutely beautiful now I'm going to emboss the, the whole front of the card now it, it's the cards wider than this embossing folder but that's fine it, it'll be fine it won't matter um, just embossing the center panel and that's why I added these little speckles down the side to give it a little bit of interest on the edges. So these folders work better if you just very lightly spray your cardstock before you start and I mean very lightly. So I've just got some water like this and all I'm doing is just spraying it above so that the water just falls down onto it that's enough and that just softens up the fibers of the card and helps this to emboss deeply without actually cracking the card now i'm also going to take all my dies and cut out all the stamped leaves and poinsettia flowers so i'm not going to do that on camera because it will take a while so bear with me and I'll be back in two ticks. Okay so I've cut all my leaves and flowers out and that's the embossed card. I'm sure you'll agree that's a, a beautiful finish. Very very deep embossing, lots of detail, absolutely beautiful and the stamping there just lifts it a little. Okay so just going to pop out all my die cuts these do cut out beautifully and I just use a bit of um, post-it note tape to make sure that the dies cut all in the in the correct places. So just push these bits out. Out you come. Okay. And then I've got a few more that I actually cut earlier so that we've got plenty. So that's those all cut out. And the other thing I'm going to do is this die is with the set as well. And this is perfectly sized to cut out this part in the middle. And you can actually put that inside the embossing folder like so. So when you put your card in, you can pop that on top, run it through and it will cut out the centre as well as doing the embossing at the same time, if that's what you'd like to do. I don't want to cut that out on this occasion, but what I am going to do is take some cherry cobbler cardstock and just pop this down. Pop the die down onto that. I'm going to cut that out and I'm also going to cut this down to fit neatly on top of that. So I'll just be back in a minute. Okay, so here I am, that's all cut out 
and this piece I've cut down to just um, about half a centimetre smaller so that that fits beautifully on there with a little border. Okay, so now we're going to come to putting the card together. So I'm just going to take my Tombow. Now, anybody who watches me regularly will say, oh, that's very strange. Ellie normally uses her fine tip glue dispenser. Well, I don't know what's happened. Something's happened and it just it just won't work. Um, I think I keep getting an airlock in it because as I'm squeezing it's I've thrown it away now but as I squeeze the glue's coming out of this part and not the top I've I've tested the tip it's absolutely fine it's flowing beautifully but there seems to be a problem with the actual dispenser itself between here and here so I think it just keeps building up with there and as I'm pressing it's all coming out the side because it can't get through there so I've gone back to using this so I've just popped that on there to give that nice border and I'm going to pop that in the centre there. But before I do that, I want to just um, arrange my cutouts. So I'm going to take the poinsettia and just use my bone folder to give this a little bit of shape here. Like so, and just I'm just bringing up the petals just very slightly so that when I pop it down here, it sits a little proud and looks a bit more like a flower. And again with that top one, just bringing those bits up. So I'm going to just pop these together. See, this is my problem with this glue. I always get too much. Well, it's not the glue, it's the, the bottle. I don't know. I just can't control it. I'm heavy handed. I shall have to find something else to put it into. Actually, I've just had an idea. Um, I do have some of the Stampin' Up Glue in, in its own fine tip bottle, which I'd completely forgotten about. Um, right, I don't know what I've done with that just now, but for the next video, I should get that sorted out. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this tissue, otherwise I'm probably gonna put glue somewhere I don't want it. Now then, I'm going to take my foliage. Actually, that's white. I didn't realise I'd um, cut that out in white. So I'm going to take... Oh, come on. Let's just pop that there. So this is the foliage that I cut out. That's a white one, so we won't have that. And well, I think I might have to let's just take that one. So I'm just going to use those three. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to pop those down yet. No, I want that one to go over there. That one there. And we'll take a holly leaf. Yeah. Now I'm pleased with that. Let's just get rid of that one. So we'll take this one first. Pop that. So it's just going underneath the top corner. And take our bigger one. I think this is what you'd call a bough from a fir tree. And then we'll have some holly. Pop that 
there. And then I'm going to pop my sentiment in the back there. Like so. So this really is quite a simple card, but because of that beautiful embossing and the layering up of all our die cuts, it's, it's beginning to look something quite special. So we put that one there and then I am going to have to use some of these white ones, but uh, I don't think it'll matter. So I want that one to come along the bottom like so. I have this one out there and a couple of holly leaves coming out of here. We need one more because we don't want an old number. Okay, so... Just going to pop something on top of that. Let's get a block. And then the little berries that I cut out, I'm just going to pop onto there. So there it is, our very simple, but I think you'll agree with me, a very effective little Christmas card, uh, five and three quarter inches square with very vanilla cardstock, die cuts, embossing, and the cherry cobbler and shaded spruce. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, and I hope you come back and watch again. Um, please press all the buttons, like, follow, subscribe, etc. Leave a comment, share with your friends. I'd be really grateful. And if you'd like to purchase anything from my online store, there'll be a link in the description box below if you're watching on YouTube. And on my Facebook page, there's a Shop Now button at the top. Hope to see you again sometime. Bye for now.